I admit it. I was wrong. I was completely wrong. Probably about a month ago, I was gonna make a video on this exact topic with a completely different view. And then after the Daniel Rodriguez fight, my view completely changed on Ian Gary. After the Keenan Song fight, I had pretty much made it up in my mind that Ian Gary was gonna probably be another victim of the UFC. By that, I mean, I basically thought he was gonna be someone like Darren Till, if you will, where the UFC gets a young, confident, brash striker, speaks very well, he's from the UK, he's got the UK accent, and on top of that, he's from Ireland, so maybe you could parlay that Conor McGregor Irish fan base and kind of push it over to Ian Gary. I kind of thought that they were just building up like a phony Conor McGregor, if you will. Because really, based off the previous opponents he had faced, there was no one really super impressive. Obviously, he's young in his career, and it's very early in the UFC, so he's not going to be fighting killers right away. But the adversity that he had faced in the Keenan Song fight, basically seeing how bad he had got dropped, how bad he had got rocked, I had money on Ian Gary in that fight and I was sweating bullets. He ended up coming back recovering and actually knocked out Keenan Song. And then fast forward to the Daniel Rodriguez fight. I really thought in my mind that this was going to be a very, very tough fight for Ian Gary because Daniel Rodriguez has fought some pretty tough guys in the welterweight division. He is a ranked fighter and he'd never been knocked out coming into this fight. And then basically you see Ian Gary just go out there and dust him within one round. And to make things even better, he goes out there and does exactly what he said he was going to do. He said he was going to set up that body kick and then he was going to go up top with the head kick. And that's exactly what he did. It shows me a few things about Ian Gary being 25 years old. Number one shows me that he's confident and believes in himself, which I don't think was really hard to see from the outside. But you never know really if it's like kind of a facade or like a fake confidence that they put on. When you actually go out there and you can implement the same things that you're talking about in your training, you actually go out there and do it in your fighting. That shows me you really believe what you're saying and you also put in the work to back it up and number two it shows you the fight iq to be able to recognize the tendencies that daniel rodriguez has the things the flaws in his game to be able to identify how you could pull out those tendencies and then on top of that be able to capitalize on that and knock out someone like daniel rodriguez who had never been knocked out in the ufc and let alone dust him in one round incredibly incredibly impressive i definitely don't believe that he's a phony conor mcgregor i think he has a lot of the same qualities as conor mcgregor being a big brash powerful striker uh, he can speak very well, however, I don't really believe that he chooses to be like a trash talker, but I definitely believe it's there. Maybe when he gets into bigger fights, uh, maybe contention fights where he's fighting big name opponents, maybe that kind of comes out a little bit. One thing that I would really like to see Ian Gary deal with or face in the UFC is go up against a very, very good grappler. There's a lot of very good grapplers at the top of the welterweight division. I mean, you have Gilbert Burns, Bilal Muhammad, Hamzat Chemaev, Kamara Usman, the list goes on. I don't really think he's faced a lot of the very, very good grapplers. So I think that'll be an interesting little wrinkle in his game to see if, uh, you know, he's really ironed that out or if maybe that's a, an area that he struggles with. Who knows? We'll see as, uh, as time goes on. I'm very excited to see Ian Gary's future. I'm definitely a fan now. There is so much talent in this division and I'm very excited to see Ian Gary get injected into this and see how well he does. Let me know in the comment section below, how do you guys see Ian Gary faring against a lot of the guys in the top of the division? How do you guys think he ranks against a lot of the top guys in this division? I also maybe plan on doing a re-ranking of the welterweight division very similar to what I did with the Bantamweight division. If you'd like to see that, let me know in the comment section below. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.